In this example, we're ready to take our first derivative, at least first derivative using the formulas that we have. First thing I'm going to do is write it with a prime notation instead. Square root, I'm rewriting square root as a one half power. And this is prime right here. I like to write my prime a little bit darker than I would write a one if it was an exponent. If I was just writing a one as an exponent, which you should never do in calculus, I'd write it like that. But I wanna make these extra bold here. All right, first rule we're gonna use, sum rule. It's also true for the difference. So the derivative of two functions added together, you can just take their derivative separately and add them together. This is also true if they are subtracted. So we're gonna use that rule now. And we have three things added and subtracted here. So I get to take the derivative and individually apply it to the terms 3x squared prime minus 2x prime plus x to the 1 half prime. It is important that these parentheses are here because this derivative applies to this entire thing right here, not just the x squared. Now, we can use a constant multiple rule on these two constant multiples, so let's move those out. So we have three times x squared prime minus two times x prime plus x to the one half prime. All right, we've taken out all the constants. Now all of these use the uh, power rule here, which I will write down. x to the n derivative is n times x to the n minus one. So we're using that property. All right, first one's easy. Bring the square down, so it's two times x to the first power. But again, I told you don't write first powers in calculus class, so I'm just writing it as 2x. That's it. Next one, x prime is one times x to the zero, which all of this reduces to one, as we looked at earlier. Uh, next one, just be a little careful with fractions. So you bring that half power down as a coefficient. One half minus one, remember you're always reducing the power by one. So it's one half minus one. Six x minus two plus one half x. What power is this? One half minus one is negative one half, and this is our derivative, and that's all there is to it for our first derivative problem.